Good evening guys, Tony back again, Horin Todge. Hope everyone's okay. Wednesday evening here in the UK. And this video is just going to be an August pickup video. So everything I picked up from August, bar the stuff I've already shown off, like my Gamera set from our video, my uh, Alejandro Jodorowsky set from our video, and bits and bobs what I've picked up in, you know, Blu-ray pickup videos out and about. So I'm not going to show anything of that. So the stuff you've never seen, you haven't seen before, everything from Amazon pickups, eBay pickups, uh, Facebook group pickups, uh, Wow HD, uh, Diabolic DVD, and another one, Grindhouse DVD from the US as well. So yeah, everything from those. So. First ones I wanted to show off is a, a brilliant new boutique Blu-ray company. And uh, I got these from Diabolic DVD. And it's actually a company called Cauldron. And this is the first two titles from their range. And they're brilliant titles. They're like, I don't think they've been on Blu-ray before. So, um, number one is American Rickshaw, this is a Sergio Martino, and really nicely, I haven't opened this yet, but I've watched unboxings of it, and they're like side loading cases, and anything with a side loading case, just uh, take my money, for God's sake, especially when the collector's editions, so American Rickshaw, this one, there we go guys, uh, sold out really quick, and they're sold out now, on um cauldron here's the cool little symbol um i think this is the first time on blu-ray i think so that's the first one great artwork and you pull it out it's got the nice amory case and i think poster and art card something like that the second one is a film by luciano and nicholas anete and it's um a neo giallo film so it's i think 2018 film but it's made to look like a 70s giallo so you got that nice yellowy sort of hue over the film you know to make it look like a 70s movie but there's all the back guys if you want to read that haven't watched it yet they're good things but these are brilliant look how they're going to look on the shelf and they are bringing new stuff out like i say uh jesse nielsen i think nelson nielsen from diabolic dvd who owns that he's brought these out himself so his company is going to be cauldron so I'm hoping it gets like vinegar syndrome and stuff because they look really good look together. Brilliant additions. So pick those two up. I haven't opened them yet. So look out for them, guys. They are bringing another movie out soon. They'll give a few hints. I can't remember what it's called, but it's one that hasn't been on DVD or Blu-ray before. Straight from VHS. So that's always good. Um, I picked up two 88 films. Uh, Schizoid. Klaus Genske, the new Slasher Collection. Quite a cool movie, this one, if you haven't seen it. It's a little bit slow for a slasher, but it's okay. Um, this is the newest one. Like I say, num Spine 43. And you know I collect these. So that's a good one. And also I picked up another one from 88 Films. Piranha 2, The Spawning. Great addition this one. I think it's got a uh, poster and art cards in there. There's a the back guys if you want to read it. It's quite a good sequel this one. You know. For an 80's sort of fun movie. So pick those two up. So I've got about 46, type, 46 films here to show guys. So bear with me with this. Um, next one. A Vinegar Syndrome title. That I picked up off Jamie Powell. And it's uh, Count Dracula's Great Love. I haven't got this one. Looks really good. 70s fun from 1973. There's a back, guys, if you want to read that. And Jamie gave me this at a good price. Thanks a lot, mate. Um, it's got the nice booklet and all the reversible artwork there. So, dual format. Another nice one to add to my collection. I picked up uh, the Blu-ray version of Haunt, but this is called Halloween Haunt. It's a German Blu-ray, um, uncut it says. Haven't watched it before. I know it was on 
think Shudder or something like that or Netflix or something, but oh, there no point in showing you the back. It's German. Unless you speak German, then there it is. But yeah, meant to be really good. I'm going to watch this one very, very soon. Can't believe I haven't watched it yet, but haven't. Um, another one I picked up off eBay, this one. Uh, first time I've seen it on Blu-ray. Next to Kin. Patrick Swayze movie. Um, remember this one as a kid. Uh, I think this is a Swedish Blu-ray. Uh, like I say, I got this off eBay. Really cheap. Five or six pounds. And Patrick Swayze basically plays this guy. And he's got a lot of brothers, as you can see there. I think one of them's is it Liam Neeson. And they're the sort of really hardcore, you know, come fight and... It's quite, they get into a bit of trouble, but quite a cool move what I remember, so I thought I'd pick that one up next to Kim from Sweden. The uh, next one is a BFI box set, and I saw this in, where was it, the other day, HMV, and it was like £70, and I picked this up right at the start of August, about 2nd or 3rd of August, for about £25 off Amazon, and it's the... Uh, Woodfall collection. You get all these films on there, guys. Uh, Look Back in Anger, The Entertainer, Saturday Night, Sunday Morning, A Taste of Unay, The Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner, Tom Jones, The Girl with Green Eyes, The Knack. So all those films in these little thin cases, as you can see, a nice booklet. There's the back, guys. Yeah, about £25, £27, something like that. So this is uh, like 60s movies. Don't know if I've seen any of them or not. I'll soon see when I start watching them. But like I say, I really want to get into my English cinema and world cinema. That's why I'm picking a lot of this stuff up. So it really interests me now. It didn't used to interest me when I was younger, but now I'm getting old. You know, it's uh, got to relive all this sort of stuff because I... I haven't done it. And here's another one I've got to relive. Um, these are silent movies, I think. Uh, Buster Keaton. Got this one the other day. Eureka. 224, uh, 225. Two, two, I think there's about three, three films on here. Our Hospitality. College. Two films. No, three films. Our Hospitality, Go West and College. So 1927, 1925 and 1923. Black and white, Buster Keaton. Everyone knows that guy. Um, so there we go, guys. If you want the special edition stuff, there's all the back. Looks a really good set. Can't wait to delve into that. And these always sell out really quick. Really nice set. Next one I picked up. This is from Germany too. One of my favourite found footage movies. This is Borderlands. The Borderlands. A uh, very British movie. I've spoke about it a few times. It's German on the bat. So really good. Um, found footage. Found footage stuff. About a church in England. Like a, a rural setting. And you've got a cameraman who goes out there. Because some spooky stuff's happening. A priest who doesn't know if he's a priest anymore. Because he's drinking a lot. And he's done a few bad things and then a priest who's straight down the line who's really you know hardcore and it's quite funny in places you got some funny moments but really creepy and i really find it effective so this is the only blu-ray you can get out there i think i've got a dvd but i saw the blu-ray i was like i've got to get that from germany that's the borderlands with a nice slip cover i picked up this one what i've saw seen everyone picking up this is the woman in black from Network. This is this slip covers like a book look. So you've got the title there, and you've got the pages of the book. If you can see that, guys, it might be a bit bright, but you see what I mean. And then inside, you've got the nice amaray. Let me see if we can get it out. It's really tight in here, but yeah. So there it is, guys. So it was just going to come as that, I think. And then the special edition sold out super quick and it's expensive now on eBay. Nice thick slip cover. That's the DVD. And you got this thrown in, um, which is another booklet on the, on the story and film because 
I think it was ran a bit late, so they chucked in that. But you do get a booklet in this. And um, it's a really cool made-for-TV, I think about 1989 or something. I can't remember, but I watched it anyway. Um, really good. Quite terrifying. And the guy... Um, the guy who played... What's his name? Don't know, but the guy who plays the main... The, the main actor he was really good in this and I think he played Harry Potter's dad in the film in the actual film so to and then for obviously Daniel Radcliffe to be in the remake of this is a, a bit but yeah really creepy creepy film great costume design great cinematography really loved it great movie watched it the other day when I got it so, uh, yeah, that's a woman in black. That's sold out now, guys. So you might have to fork out for that if you want it. I picked up this one from America. I think it was from, I don't know if it's from Wow HD or it might have been from all that music on eBay. One of the American sites. That's a Black Coat's Daughter from A24. Great film again. Watched it. Such a mind-bending horror film, this one. Really good. But... Pay attention to it, guys. Come off your phone and really pay attention because it's hard to get your head around. But when you do figure it out, it's a great story. And um, I think it's called February in England. But it's a black coat's daughter in the US. And this is a great release and really good transfer. So that's a great film. Next one I got... I saw a lot of people picking it up, to be fair, is, haven't opened it yet, Victor Hugo is the man who laughs. So this is a nice Eureka, Eureka edition, I think 1928 film or something, 1927. And uh, really, it's like a horror, silent movie, uh, mellow, gothic melodrama, and... Um, Apparently it inspired Joker himself from the Marvel comics. So you can see there. But when if I opened it up and showed you the front cover, you can see he's got a real Joker sort of smile about him. But there's the back, guys. There's the special features. I don't know if this is still available, but great release nonetheless. And then when I watched The Black Coat's Daughter, I watched the trailers at the start. And I picked this up because it come on the trailers. Another, I think it's A24 film, Trespass Against Us. It looked really good. Stars Michael Fashbender and Brendan Gleeson. Looks like um, travellers or Romany gypsies and they're getting to a bit of bother. Very British, but looks really good. Haven't seen it, but I'm going to probably watch this one tonight with the missus because she'll like this. But I really like Michael Fashbender and Brendan Gleeson, so... Hopefully that's a good film. Two I picked up from All That Music. Um, I think this was about £20 for the two. So Scream Factory, Slumber Party Massacre. Uh, can't believe I haven't seen this yet. I thought I had it on DVD, but I haven't. So I don't think I've seen it. I might have when I turn it on, but it looks like campy fun. Uh, that's a decent release. And when I picked this one up, I also got uh, Tishy Mikey's Itchy the Killer on Blu-ray from the US. Looks good. Like Tishy Mikey. And the stuff he does is awesome. So, very good things. Look forward to this one, guys. Haven't seen it, but there's two I've got from the US. I say, got quite... One of my best months this month, to be fair. From, not Diabolic, what they're called. Grindhouse. Grindhouse DVD. I got my Django come in after taking about two months to come. But they got here in the end. Haven't opened it yet. But Sergio Cabucci with Franco Nero. This is going for Met Stupid Money again because I think it's all sold out. They get the nice booklet and poster. There's the back, guys. We all know this one. This has been for sale, not for sale, pulled, uh, 
back up for sale so many times. It's it's unbelievable. But I'm glad I toned this because I was going to bite the bullet and pay about £150 when it was out of print because they didn't get the rights to it. I'm glad I didn't now. Because <laughs> I got that one for about £50 delivered, something like that, from the US. So, really good. Next one's a German media book. A uh, friend of mine on Facebook, you know him as Roasted Schools, I know him as Lee, uh, posted this on Facebook. I think it was about £15, pounds, six, 70, about €17, Euros. so yeah, about £14, pounds, £13. Pounds. Uh, this is Sharknado Media Book, or Blu-ray. Uh, all the films up to part five. I know they're not very good, but I like them for what they are. Just turn them on, popcorn movies, don't have to think about it. You get five discs in here, all five films. Oh no, there's six films out now, but this is five of them. And uh, if you read German, there's a back, but you definitely get all five films and good artwork. And for that price, like I say, about £14, um, it's a great little media book. So thanks Lee for showing me that. A few more guys. This is another This is another movie that I saw on that Black Coach Daughter trailer. The Green Room, another A24 film, I think. I haven't seen this either, so look forward to watching this. It looks really good, look quite gripping from what I saw. Looks like these guys get trapped in a room, by the looks of it, with a load of killers around them. Looks really good. So looking forward to that one. I saw that um, Scream Factory bringing this out in a couple of months. And I've never seen it. I cannot believe I haven't seen this. Lawrence Fishburne, Sam Neill. Event Horizon. So I had to pick this up off eBay for about £6, £5. Thought I need to see it now. Because I always thought of it was like um, a Star Trek movie. And I'm not a big Star Trek fan. But no, it's a real horror and I, I didn't even realize look classic science fiction suspense and classic horror and i really like sam neill and Lawrence fishburne and i can't believe i've never seen this so sorry about that that's um my bad guys i'm a bad person for not seeing this because it looks really terrific so i'm gonna give that one a watch this week another one that i'm really embarrassed to say about <laughs> studio canal version of this I haven't seen this David Lynch film, Mulholland Drive. Uh, just haven't got round to watching it. I've heard it's a masterpiece and it's, uh, you know, quirky and really crazy and quite, uh, you know, horrifying in some parts. But haven't watched it yet. Need to watch it. One that the missus might be interested in, I don't know, but... Here we go. Yeah, there's a special features on there if you want it, guys. I know there's a nice Criterion edition, but we'll see how this one goes. If I like it, I'm sure I will, because I do like uh, the master David Lynch. He does uh, bring some crazy stuff to our screens and just just um, unique work, really. This one I picked up from Wow HD for about eleven pounds, and it's uh, Kino Lorbra Studios from the US. And it's got the late uh, John Saxon in it. And it's Cannibal Apocalypse. So I've never seen this one before. Looks like a cool 80s movie. Like a B movie sort of thing. So Kino Lorber do some great stuff. And yeah, really cheap. About £11 from uh, Wow HD. Really check them out guys. Because they do some great stuff. Next up, before I get to my Arrow titles, guys, one more from Studio Canal. This was cheap as well. Saw someone post it. And this is the Bunnell Collection. Quite a few films on here from the 50s and 60s, I think, if I'm rightly saying. Yeah, uh, 60s and 70s, sorry. So you get quite a few movies on here. This was about £25 off Amazon. Diary of a Chambermaid, Bella Jajor, The Milky Way, uh, Tristina, and quite a lot. 
Phantom of Liberty, that obscure objects of desire. So quite um, erotic sort of work. I think it's Spanish. Um, but yeah, really look forward to digging into this because I've never watched any of these movies before. Like I say, my foreign cinema's coming along. I'm getting quite a decent collection now, which is always good. But really nice, thick, thick set for twenty whatever I said, twenty five, twenty six pounds. And these are my Arrow Video pickups. You saw me show off uh, the Django set. I picked up Yasuzu Makora's Mascora, is it? Black Car. There's two movies on this one. This is out this week. There it is, guys. There's the back. Meant to be a really good film. I know people have been excited about this. Never seen it, but Black Test Car. Sorry, not Black Car. Black Test Car. Uh, looks really good. Pick that one up. Um, this week as well. Uh, it come in last weekend, but I picked up the comic, a nice slip cover. He's a real cut up. So, <laughs> I, I won't bother opening it, but the inside will be different and tell you everything. This is meant to be a strange little movie. So, I'll give this one a watch, but another nice slip from Arrow Video. Um, the last one before we get onto the 4Ks from Arrow Video. I picked up this, I haven't opened it yet, but it's a cracking edition. This is the game, the Arrow Academy version, and it's a lovely edition. It was like £35, but it's well worth it because you get all that. If you want to read the back of it, guys, two disc limited edition. Um, and it's like a great big thick book, which is full of pictures and stuff, and the actual discs are housed in the book. The book had set you about 25 quid alone, so uh, it's a great film, Michael Douglas. Uh, really good commissioned artwork here. And just look at the size of it, guys. This is look, look awesome on the top of your shelf if you've got room. Because there's a normal Blu-ray with a slip cover. And there's a normal Blu-ray without. So it's a big, it's a big old set. But really nice edition. Another one of those great editions <clears throat> from our video. And these two are two 4K. So the first 4K to come out in the UK was Pitch Black. Um, unfortunately, the mess is slip up, which is always a bummer, but can't believe they didn't do a slip for this. But it's got a nice booklet inside because I can feel the weight of this. I think it's got a Blu-ray with it, but great film nonetheless. Sci-fi horror with Vin Diesel from the early 2000s, I think. Maybe from 2000 itself remember it as a kid or as a teenager not as a kid but about 15 16 when this come out and uh, there's all the special stuff you get quite a lot of stuff on this really nice artwork though so that's the first 4k in this country and then he also got the first 4k from our video in the us which is flash gordon um so the only thing is this come the other day from amazon uh, you get it's not as good as the studio canal edition and i did pick that up but i cancelled my order i wish i'd have kept it now because i think it's out of print but ah well um i've got this one i think this is only a two disc set i think the studio canal was five but i really like the artwork on this and uh you get a book and poster and art cards and all the good stuff and there's a 4k disc the only problem is with this guys they sent it in a jiffy bag and if you can see there, it's got a bit of a crunch, right? So this costs like about £50 to get deli delivered, £48 off uh, Amazon USA or Amazon.com. There's all the stuff, guys, if you want to read it. What you get on there, this one, this two, and all the aspect ratio. So tell you a little story about this. So I got it sent through in one of those stupid jiffy bags. And I was like, I was praying, I like saw a bit of a rip like this, and I was praying, I thought, and it just had a little bit of a crunch. It's nothing too bad, to be fair. Look, it's not, it's a little bit of a ding, but that's that's going to put me off, right, for starters. So, I didn't go to the menu one where you can 
you know, swap your Blu-rays out or, or return them and replace them for something else. I just emailed them straight away. I said, look, I'm not happy. I ordered from you all the time. And you've sent me another stupid jiffy bag, something I've paid £50 for, a collector's edition that isn't going to be around for very long, 4K. And it's dinted in one side. So about five minutes later, bang, email come through. Sorry, Mr. Joins. You know, we've sent you another one straight out. Um, keep the old copy as well. So there can't be no fairer than that. So I'm going to have two copies, but that's their problem. They shouldn't send them in bloody jiffy bags. So if it's if it's damaged again, they're going to get emailed again. So, But our video, it won't be around for long in the USA. 4K title, so really nice. Great film, love Fast Gordon. But like I say, not probably not quite as good as the... Um, the uh, Studio Canal version, but I do love our video, you know that, so it's another one to add to the collection. I'm not going to rip that off, but you can see. If I rip that off, it's underneath. It's just a little bit of a ding in that corner, but there we go. So I'm going to have two for the price of one. But yeah, um, so that's this month's pickups, guys. Tell me what you thought. If you guys picked anything up, if you picked any of these up or watched any of them, um, just tell me anything you want. Ask any questions and I'll get back to you. So... I've been Tony guys, hope you've enjoyed this video, sorry it's a bit long, I'll catch you all later.